Um, HDCP could be a cause of no picture or losing picture, okay? You might also get an error message. I'll show you those error messages in the next slide, okay? No picture after long periods of time or switching sources, hot plug issue, okay? So if you, again, took a live HDMI cable, plugged it into a new TV or a new source, okay? If that happens, simple fix. Turn everything off, turn everything back on. Power cycle, that's it, okay? Common EDID conflict, okay? So let's say you've got a one by two slitter, one in, two out, okay? Your 1080p uh, Blu-ray player is hooked up to it, okay? The problem with splitters and sources is they can only output one resolution format at a time, okay? That means if this is set up to 1080p, that's set in 1080p, you've got two TVs, 1080p and 720p, guess what's gonna happen, okay? You're not gonna get any picture here. Why? Because that display is not a 1080p display, that is a 720p display that is above its capabilities, okay? So keep that in mind, you gotta dumb down the resolution, whether it's within the splitter or the source, you gotta dumb it down to 720p, that way you'll have picture on both because that 1080p is backwards compatible. It can handle lower resolution, okay? Keep that in mind. Some splitters do it automatically, some sources do it automatically, but in case you don't get a picture, dumb down the resolution. All right, what happens? Um, HDCP issues. You guys may have seen these. Direct TV and Dish Networks are the worst with HDCP issues, okay? You hook up a splitter that's not HDCP compliant and you're watching a premium channel, probably getting this, this uh, error message, okay? Uh, especially with the premium channels um, and pay-per-view is the worst. Why? Because they don't want you splitting out that fight that costs 60 to $80, okay? Okay, uh, last slide here, guys. Good HDMI practices, choose your cabling carefully. Uh, again, we test with your most basic Cat 5 e unshielded. We also test with your Cat 6, Cat 7 shielded, okay? Be mindful of where your cables are running, how long they are. Again, we talked about EMI, electromagnetic interference, okay? Uh, I've had integrators to where they ran their Cat 5 cables, the electricians came after, and guess what they did? They used the same damn conduit, okay? That's why the last ones in. What's that? That's why the last ones in. Yeah. That's, that's the best way to do it, okay? So again, be mindful where, where your cable is running because you can get interference from other runs, okay? Uh, obvious here, run more than one category HDMI or co coax cable. Believe it or not, I get integrators to call me and say, listen, I'm on, I'm on a budget, I'm gonna run Cat 5 e and that's it. I'll tell them that's a bad idea, okay? You wanna run at least two. Or a guy will tell me I'm just running HDMI and that's it, and I'm gonna patch up the walls. Tell them that's a bad idea, okay? Why, because that HDMI, you break off the connector, that, that cable's toast. Unless, of course, you turn it into a cat cable. But having extra cables, insurance. I've had integrators who told me that the drywall came in, punched the nail right through the cable. They only have one cable, okay? You have two, guess what? You've got another one for insurance, okay? Yep. Allow some slack. Allow for 10% maximum cable distance. So run some slack, why? We talked about a coupling signal loss, okay? HDMI extenders, uh, I will tell you, I couple mine twice, why? Because I'm going to wall plate. It's not a punch down, it's a female to female. But if it's a punch down, guess what? The punch down's gotta be good, okay? I will also tell you, never run a patch panel in the middle of a cat run where you're doing HDMI, okay? It's about a 50-50 shot whether it'll work or not, okay? Why is that? Because if you take a look at the patch panel and you take out both ends of that patch panel, it changes the twist. If you change the twist, you change the frequency of that cable, okay? From networking, that's not a big deal because again, you're running 100 megs, maybe a gigabit, okay? 10.2 gigs of, of information through HDMI, at least, if not 18, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, too much signal loss or frequency change will degrade your picture, or worse, no picture at all, okay? Terminate the cabling to the recommendations of the manufacturer. Again, T568A or B does not matter, okay? Most important, test, 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 then when you're done testing, then test again, okay? We test these products twice for you, okay? Bring these back to your place, your shop, test that extender, make sure it works, okay? We try to eliminate DOAs, but you never know what can happen from Illinois to St. Louis, okay? Um, also, it could be a compatibility issue, okay? You bring this thing out to the site, if it doesn't work, well, you already know, you already tested, it could be something else, it could be the cable, it could be the source. Uh, believe it or not, cable boxes, um, they're not all the same, even though some of the, they're the same model numbers, they differ in quality. Uh, we've seen it. Everything's made in China, right? Cable boxes are the worst. Um, I had a call with a guy who said, 
listen, your extender's bad. I've tried every cable. I've tried three different extenders. I don't know what's the deal. Your extender is not compatible with this cable box, okay? I told him, hey, can we try it with a Blu-ray player? He says, okay, try a Blu-ray player, works, okay? Tries the cable box again, doesn't work. I said, well, do you have another cable box? He says, well, it's the same model number, it's upstairs. I said, grab it anyway, let's try it out. All of a sudden he punches it and it works, okay? So the quality of cable boxes can differ. Keep that in mind. So again, bench test products before they go on the job site. Uh, test signal gen generator or monitor can save hours. We talked about this, you've got a pretty good tester, okay? You obviously paid some money for it, okay? I've gotten a lot of guys who tell me, hey, my cable's good, I test it with a continuity tester. It's not gonna cut it, okay? A continuity tester is great for networking. All it does is tell you that all the pairs are lined up. It doesn't tell you if you can actually send data over it, especially HDMI data, okay? Uh, so it does cost a pretty penny, but it can save you hours. It can tell you the length even. It can tell you where the kink is, right? It can tell you if, where it's breaking down, okay? So it can tell you a lot of stuff. Always be able to think outside of the box, but keep it simple. Again, I covered this right at the beginning of the class. From my source over there, which is my Microsoft Surface, to our projector over here, just an HDMI run. Actually, it's going through the AV receiver. There's a million different ways you can get from that service to that projector. Uh, you can do so. These are designed to be combined, okay? You can call us and say, hey, I've got a crazy concoction where I have to combine a splitter with an extender with a matrix unit. Let us know, we'll test it out for you, okay? But keep in mind, you're working with additional handshakes, additional patch cables, additional power supplies, more points of failures, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? Be in control of your system, don't rely on auto settings. Uh, Apple TVs are the worst at this, okay? If you plug an Apple TV into a matrix unit, okay, and your matrix unit's a 1080p matrix unit, set your Apple TV to 1080p, okay? Uh, sometimes they get compatibility issues, why? Because the Apple TV is trying to process it and trying to figure out what's connected to, because it's on an auto setting, okay? Set it to 1080p, make it a lot easier on yourself, okay? That way there's less guesswork between that handshake. Last but not least, install for now, but plan for tomorrow. Um, I probably should delete that because don't plan for, for 8K, okay? It's gonna be years before we get into 8K. Again, we're right in the middle of 4K. Uh, TVs are there, they're cheap now. They're about the cost of 1080p TVs, okay? Uh, in fact, it is more difficult to buy a 1080p TV rather than a 4K TV, okay? It's just, everything's carrying on over to 4K. Alrighty? All right, guys, that's all I had for you. No, troubleshooting checklist. Uh, do me a favor, what I will do instead of just going through all this stuff, uh, shoot me an email if you want to copy this presentation, including this troubleshooting guide. I will email a copy of this um, uh, presentation to you, okay? Any questions, please shoot me an email. You got my card, I'll give you a card, sir. Uh, hopefully this was worthwhile. Uh, if not, at least you got some free food out of it, okay? But please, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, email me, my cell phone's on there. Please give me a call, shoot me an email. I can help you out with anything system design even. If I don't know, I'll find out for you. All righty guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Everybody sign this. Oh yeah, please. If you can sign the sign up sheet, that'd be great. We have a too. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's call Bob over here, huh? Right. Let's have Bob do it. I got this right here, bro. Oh, you do? Yeah, I already got it. You got my card? What's your name? Yeah. No, I can, my name's Frank. Frank Giovanni. Giovanni, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I got your card. Oh, you do? Okay, perfect. Let me give you this then. And then let me give you. Goodies? Okay, yep, and then give me a raffle ticket. Wow, look at that. You call him Bob? Yeah, Beer? Beer? he didn't run out. He said if I'm not here, go ahead and do it. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I see a theme going on here. Okay, I think we've got every, everyone got a raffle ticket in here? Do you mind? Put your name in there? I don't. Here it is. Oh, you got one? Yep. All right. I will let you do the honors, okay? All right, before we raffle it off, is again, <laughs> this is a four by one switcher, four in, one out. Okay, this will work like any switcher. You can view one source at a time, or again, it'll do the quadrant view, or a main screen with three smaller tiles on the right, we call it a man cave in the box. So, oh, there he is. So we're gonna retail on this is, I think about eight or 900 bucks, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do the honors. Yeah. I'm not going to be the one making everybody else mad. <laughs> <laughs> 838-21-24. <laughs>
Wow. There you go. Let's keep it going. I got some more HDMI cables we can start to raffle off. There it is. Let's see here. Where are those HDMI cables? We'll try to make it so everyone goes home with something. How's that? All right. Two, one, two, three. All right, you get your choice of HDMI cable. I've got a 35, a 50, a 10, and a 25. These are all 4K cables. 50? I'm going to give you the box for that, too. Let's keep it going. Keep it going, Dad. There you go. 2, 1, 2, 1. Length? I've got 35, 25, and 10. And which one is the, uh, the other the chip one? This guy right here, 35. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing it right. The longer ones are more expensive, so you guys are doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> How about 2120? That's me. All right, I've got a 25 and a ton. 25, bro. I think that leaves one person. Alright, let's see who's going <laughs> <laughs> Ten foot one, certified three, cable. Two, two. Alrighty. Alright guys, again, I appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or Bob. But hopefully, again, it was worthwhile. Any questions, please let me know. Uh, really quick, um, I've got a wireless extender here if you guys want to know more about. We also have our standard extender, which is our best seller. Plug and play PoE extender. And I think that's about it. I also have an audio extractor here for your audio files. Uh, Apple TV, this will extract audio right out of an HDMI cable. Why is that important? Because the new Apple TVs don't have the optical out anymore, right? And if you're like me, I use my Apple TV for distributed audio. You can take audio out. Sony the other day that, uh, yeah. they did, they had a Sony's bar attached to it. Oh, really? No way of getting audio out of it. Oh, well. No audio out of it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Keep in mind that this is a new one. This this does 4K. So in case you need a, a 4K unit, because guess what? If you use a 1080 piece, it's going to bottleneck it. You won't get 4K out of it. Okay. Keep that in mind.